In this video, we will see how we accept user input from our uh, terminal. This means if I go to my um, command terminal here and um, if I ls, first let me compile my uh, program. So I will do gcc out and um, give it the main file. Then if I ls, I have out. So to run it, all I have to do is just execute the binary file. But what if I want to accept user input? There are different ways we can accept the user input. One way is to provide the input as a command or with the, when we run the binary file. That means I can put any number of inputs separated by space. Either it could be a string or a, a, an integer or a floating point value followed by the binary file and the main function will uh, collect this input as a, an array and uh, will provide it to the program as a string. Here, uh, our main function will take two parameters. The first one is int arg c, that stands for argument count. We can use any variable name, but most C programs use the name argument c, arg c, and in for the array, the array to hold those arguments or to store those arguments, we use um, char two stars and the name of the variable is argv, argu argument value. So this way we can um, take the user input, store it inside the array, then the program can uh, um, take those input and manipulate or use it within the program. So for example, let's see how we use this two parameters in our hello world application. here. The first statement is a printf statement that prints out the string hello world. So I'm going to put another statement here, printf, but here I want to see the value argc. So in order to print out a string, which we will see in the future how printf um, uses formats to um, print or to convert into a string and print it to, to the terminal, in order to do that, we will use um, percent sign and specify the format value which is d for integers then and i will um, do comma and then i will provide the name of the uh, variable which is argc in this case so i'm trying to see what the value of argc is argc is going to be printed here so i'm going to go to my terminal i will do rm out i will delete the binary file for now then i'll compile it again using this line then I will run the program with the following arguments. So I have one, two, three, not arguments, actually inputs. One, two, three, four, five, six, including the, including the name of the program, I have one, two, three, four, five, six inputs here. So if I enter, actually I can't see it. So I just need to put a new line after this. And let me compile it, recompile it again and run it. As you can see, argc holds the number six. Six stands for the number of arguments or the number of uh, inputs provided to our program, including the name of the program. So, and then how do I access each um, argument values in my program? For example, I want to ask access number six. So, in to access an array in, in the C program, we will, we will see this in the future video, but we can provide it the position its position or index value in the array. So in this case, in C, array counting starts from zero. So the first one is the program name, which is zero. The second one is the argument input value, which is four. So this has the index value one. The next one has index value two. The number six has index value three. So if I go back to my program and let me put another printf statement here and argv. I'm going to access a string as a, like I said, the argument value holds an array of strings. So the, to print out a string variable within a, um, within a string statement or to add a string value within a string statement, we have to use the person sign in the format value S. I'm going to put a new line here and I'm going to put comma of argv and then put it, create a, open a square bracket here and provided the index position, which we said it's three. Then let's close the statement, save this, let's compile it. 
and when we run it we will see the value c let's say i want to see the first uh, argument name which is going to be zero i'm going to save it i'm going to run it again compile it again then ru run it as you can see the first argument is the name of the program or if i want to see the last um uh, argument which is in this case six and if I compile it and run it, it's going to give me a segmentation fault or no. The reason is that because array um, counting starts from zero. So the last argument is five. So I'll save it, compile it, run it. This way we can provide our program um, an argument and access those argument using um, a parameter values argv and argc.